guys it's December and the Christmas vibe is here I hope you're getting out and about and you're doing some fun stuff together but there's an interesting statistic that I found the other day and it says that December is the most popular time of the year to break up now that's pretty sad news and we do not want to be in that position but if you know it's kind of understandable because there's a lot of pressure we're exhausted we're cranky you know there's probably things that have built up through you know throughout the year and and there's little tolerance for each other and and at this time of the year we even start to feel very very disconnected um, and obviously when that happens our sex life can start to diminish so the topic for today is where has all the sex gone I don't know whether you're asking yourself that that question but um, maybe you are and this live is for you so the first thing I think we need to do is we really need to acknowledge the season we are in a very busy season at this time of the year and our buttons get pushed uh, in many different ways so you know we're in a season this season might last you three or four weeks um, it's not like that season when you got young kids that lasts you 10 last 10 years and you have to be creative with sex but we are in a season and it's a very, very hectic season. So I think like just being aware and, and being patient and, and more tolerant with each other because uh, things are heightened right now. But also we need to talk about how we can stay connected during this busy season. How are we going to, what are we going to do together that's going to create romance and intimacy like um, going out for breakfasts and taking um, night walks, going to markets and that sort of stuff. So we want to do all that. But we also want to talk about how we can stay connected sexually. That's important. Sex is an important important and healthy part of a marriage and we need it to because it gives us that deep sense of um, connection. Um, we often, you think about, we often don't plan for this time of the year. We just think, oh, we're just going to chill it, chill it and wing it and whatever. We don't have a plan. But often when we, when we don't have a plan, we plan, and there's the quote, if you don't plan, you plan to fail or something like that. We assume things about each other. We miss the cues and then we feel rejected. Um, so we don't want that. We want to be able to um, talk about um, how we're going to stay connected over this season and really work on uh, putting in the effort because we know that it is a challenging season. Now, sex can be many different things. It can be spontaneous and quick. You know, in the morning, it's when your testosterone is really high, like the guy's testosterone usually is right up here and, and we're kind of there. But, you know, it's, it's a time when, you know, there might be more desire. So sex can be in the morning, spontaneous and quick. It can be intimate and slow lovemaking with lots of foreplay. We can plan to to be together or can be spontaneous or whatever it can be red hot sex where you kind of fulfill all your fantasies in one hit i don't know whatever you do um and it can be scheduled sex um often people think of like scheduled sex like sex is like oh you know but it's actually is it's better to have scheduled sex than no sex at all. And I reckon if you've had children, then you've probably um, been in that space. But it can really help you get prepared. You can look good, smell good. You can think about uh, each other. And, and it can be, one you know, an awesome time together. But just a tip for the ladies, because often when, um, you know, when men feel stressed and that's kind of what happens this time of the year, sex helps them. They run to sex, you know, makes them feel better, less stressed. Whereas for women, that it's actually the opposite. It's the last thing we want when we feel stressed. And so, you know, for the ladies, your brain is the most powerful sexual organ you have. And so what we do with this thing is really important. If, if we're going to spend all our time and think, oh, how do I stay away from him, uh, my husband? Husband, you know just to keep him at arm's length and you think negatively about sex you talk negatively about sex that's not going to help you but I can use my mind to get my head in the game and that is to 
think about past times that I've had with my husband, sexual times and, you know, that, that you know, it impacts your body when you do that or, or I can think about what we're going to do together. You know, I can think about preparing myself. I can do all of that stuff with my brain. And so use it to your advantage, ladies. And although the, the man is primarily the uh, initiator, sometimes to take the pressure off women, we need to become the initiator. And that's going to really help you uh, get your mind uh, in the game. Don't tell them, don't tell them. And then you plan to initiate. So um, there's just a few ideas to get you through that season. We need to be connecting uh, romantically and emotionally, communication and all that sort of stuff. But don't forget to have those intimate sexual times together so that you can really stay connected this Christmas. And look, I was on my Spark app this morning and I went to the romance and intimacy section and it come up with a coin toss. Like, so, and the question was, how should you and Rick spice up your sex life? So that's kind of, he gets to write something in, I get to write something in, then we flip a coin and we come, come up with an outcome. So uh, that's kind of a fun thing. Download the Spark app because that's going to keep you connected in a new and different way, a fun way over this season. Um, guys, Christmas is a busy time of the year, but let's work hard. Let's have a plan. Let's communicate and stay connected this Christmas. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.